Dragon. Dragon predictions for 2024 in the Dragon Year. So for the dragon, the, the most important card I've got is the card of justice. So the card of karma. That which you put out there will return to you. So uh, what, what you put out is what, you, what you'll get back in return in this energetic sense. And it being your year, that makes a lot of sense, right? Uh, in the recent past, you've been uh, coming up with new ideas. We've got the, this, the page of ones is the young creative ingenue. So he has a lot of ideas and, and wants to put them into, into action, but doesn't entirely know how. It's like the stage where it's just the blueprint, blueprint phase, right? So and that, and that's the recent past. So we're moving beyond that now. Where you are now, it's about it's a, it's a military king phase. So it's about putting strategy in place. And this is this is influences working in your favor. So so this is really positive. Influences working um, against you. You feel like you're already so busy with other stuff, you don't have the time to start something new. But you have the desire to start something new. So it's that thing that's working against you at the moment. But worry not, things are about to shift and you are about to get the wherewithal, the energy and the space to make these things happen. Short term future, we've got you saving your money. So it's short term future meaning the next sort of three months, first three months of the dragon year. Uh, saving your money, pulling back your energy from, from people who drain it a little bit. Um, uh, three to six months after that, we've got you carrying on, carrying more than you can handle by yourself, not asking for help when you need it. The Ten of Wands card. Um, so you can ask people for help. There are people out there who are prepared and want to help you. Um, it's just your busyness, your crazy busyness. You know, Dragon Years are one of the busiest years of all. And you being a Dragon Sign, you, you know, you're going to just involve yourself with all of this stuff and maybe not handle certain issues that need to be handled. Put relegating them, push them to the background so you can just get on with what's in front of you. Which is sometimes can be a good tactic, but sometimes not. I feel like the second half of the Dragon Year, you are going to have to look at these things. You're going to have to find an in, in a in a teacher, in a guide, in a guru, um, and you're going to find a way to get in touch with that spiritual side of your, yourself, the, the true spiritual side of yourself. But, but sometimes you've got to go through some uh, odd ways to find that. You know, maybe you go through a, a fake guru, but he, the fake guru points you in the right direction, and then you find, find a route that makes sense for you. Because ultimately, we're leading towards this, the high priestess, the getting, getting psychic information from yourself, from your own dreams, from your own intuitions. Um, and also, look, working towards, uh, not a fortune as such, but just, you know, your own estate, working towards developing uh, a legacy for yourself and for your loved ones, right? And, and that's, that's might actually begin in the, the last three months of the, of the dragon year. So, uh, so that's really, really positive. What you put out there is what you get back. Now let's look at the twelve month spread for you, for the dragon sign. So we'll go month by month. Okay, so starting with February, we've got the King of Cups. So this would mean that you're you're making wise decisions, looking at the emotional health of everybody around you, think, considering other people's needs as well as your own. This continues into March because we've got the Eight of Cups again. You know, somebody who's emotionally intelligent, who's making decisions for themselves. My cup runneth over with positive emotion, so I'm happy. Those around me can then be happy because if I'm happy, I'm prepared to give of myself and give of my energy and of my resources to those around me. April, we've got the Page of Swords. Now, this card can mean, as a variety of meanings, as they all do, but uh, what this card can mean is I'm only now learning my power. This this kid has the sword in his hand but doesn't know how to use it properly, doesn't know how to wield it properly, so he's learning that, so he's learning their power. And also, it's also a, a warning against people who are a bit harsh-tongued, people who, who are, are a bit difficult to deal with. So if in April you find that you're around people who are a bit difficult, distance yourself from them or grey rock them. Don't be too... Don't use your overly heightened emotional sense or emotional wisdom, emotional intelligence to support this person too much because they can end up draining you and, and not changing either. So invest your emotion, emotional uh, energy wisely. Let's put it that way. Uh, May, we've got the Knight of Wands, which is a time to take action. Whatever it is that you've been delaying on, you've been procrastinating in May, get, it, get on with it. Just get it started. And once you do, you develop momentum. <clears throat> June, we've got a, 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 the, card, the Four of Wands card, which is about creating a, 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 a space, an environment for yourself so that you can function on uh, uh, in an optimal way. So do what you need to. Paint the walls. Buy new furniture if you need to get rid of your furniture. Declutter. Whatever it is that makes your spatial environment more conducive 
for you as a person. July, we've got the King of Pentacles. Now, this can mean receiving reward, receiving money, or um, it could be setting up your life so that that happens. Next to the King of Pentacles, we've got the King of Wands. So, um, <clears throat> wise decision making. So here, setting up money. Wise decision making when it comes to business, uh, business things. Going to somebody wise for advice, maybe. And then we've got the King of Swords after that. So the strategist is back. So it feels like the, uh, the summertime as we head into the autumn will be a period of time where you're set, laying your plans for the next phase of where you go from here. So June, July, August, September. October, we've got the Page of Cups, so a new emotional beginning. Oftentimes, this card comes up when, the, when there's a birth uh, of a new baby in the, into the family, or somebody gets pregnant, or a new relationship starts. But this is uh, that adolescent phase of excitement when something new is about to begin. November, we've got the card of apprenticeship. So training, learning, uh, learning on the job, learning from somebody who is more experienced than yourself coming at it with a humble attitude and knowing that there's a lot more that you need to learn before you are able to give advice on something yourself. December, we've got the Hermit card. So we go we go inwards for our light, for our guidance. We head inwards to learn uh, ab about certain subject matter or just about the situation we're in. There's no point in asking other people because they're as clueless as we are at the moment with, this, with the situation you find yourself in. So just go inwards Ask the questions and then wait for the information to be, to be forthcoming. It will be forthcoming. You just have to wait. Ah, which leads us to the next card, which is the card of waiting. The three of wands. Usually this is more business oriented. So you've, you've set forth all of your, um, your, your business bits and pieces that you need to put into motion. It's all been put into motion. And then you have to wait before the returns come. All right. So this is January. So Harold's a new beginning for you there as we head, as we head into the snake year, out of your dragon year into the snake year. All right. I hope that gave you some um, some guidance, some information about what is to come in the in the Dragon Year in your year, and uh, I hope it makes you optimistic. This is pretty good. Pretty good. There's nothing here that's um, to worry about, really. Positive stuff. Okay. Uh, so just a reminder: you can find me at www.zachariahadeal.com. Uh, you can also. Go to my website and go to the readings page if you, if you want to book a reading with me. The, uh, all the information is there. My telephone number is there. My WhatsApp number. My uh, email is also there. ZachariahAdil at gmail.com. You can email me there. You can also buy a copy of my first book, which came out in 2016, Secrets of the Combined Astrology, which has all of the 144 charts in it. Or you can just buy your own individual chart. If you just go to Amazon, put in your chart. Uh, let's say you're an Ox Aquarius. Uh, you put in your chart, Ox Aquarius, and put in Zachariah Adil, and it will come up. And you can just buy it from there directly, or you can buy these books from my website. Um, and I'm going to make them available on TikTok sometime soon as well, so you can get it from there too, eventually. But anyway, for now, um, I will bid you adieu. Thank you very much for joining me, and I'll see you next time.